guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing my very first Throwback Thursday makeup tutorial look. So this is a series that I want to do on my channel. So one Thursday out of every month I will do a Throwback Thursday makeup look. So I will be either using at least one kind of OG, old school, like very first one of my makeup products. I'll be using one of those in the look or a combination of a couple. So in today's makeup look, I'm using my Urban Decay Naked Palette. So this was one of the very first high-end um, palettes that I got, and I got it for Christmas. I'm not going to tell you what year because you guys don't need to know how old I am. But anyway, if you would like to see how I created this look, then just keep watching. Next, we're going to go in with our Urban Decay Naked Palette. I really don't know what I'm going to do, but I know I need a transition color for sure. So usually I like to take the color Naked or the color Buck. So I'm going to go in with probably both. Um, first, starting off with Naked and just applying that onto my crease. And then I'll go in with Buck and apply that right over that color. And this is like a, like a ashy brown color. So it's not warm at all. Using the color Buck, I'm going to place that right over the color Naked. Don't worry if it gets messy on the outer corner. Um, we will clean that up later. That's why I like to do my eyes first and then my face. Okay, and then for the lid, um, I usually take, um, as you can see, I haven't, whoop, dusty. Um, I haven't used like any of these colors. This palette is so old, but I usually use Half Bake, Sidecar, Sin, or like even Smog, and sometimes I'll take Dark Course. Um, but what I'm going to do today is take the color... I'm going to go in with the color Dark Horse, which is this one here, and I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to work that on my outer I can't talk today. I'm going to work that color on my outer corner with a pencil brush. So now that we have that color blended a little bit, it doesn't look like it's blended much, but I'm going to go in with the color Sidecar and it's like a nice um, like glittery, shimmery um, kind of like a gray color and I'm actually going to do or attempt to do like a half cut crease um, so I'm going to get a concealer brush I'm going to use this little one from Morphe that's what it looks like and I'm going in with my Tarte Shape Tape I'm just going to cut the lid attempt to cut the lid so please bear with me and then to go in with the lid color, I'm just going to take a um, compact packer brush. Um, I'm actually going to take this one. This one is synthetic um, to apply that color sidecar. Now, I do remember that this color has a lot of fallout. Um, so that's why I wanted like a nice sticky base. And then also another reason why I don't do my um, face before my eyes. So we're going to go back into Dark Horse and build up that outer corner again. Have that color place, just go in with a blending brush. I'm going to take this one here and just blend out this edge. So now that we have this eye mostly done, I'm going to do this eye off camera just to save time and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that we have both eyes completed, I'm going to apply my winged eyeliner, my false lashes, and my eyebrows and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and did my brows, winged eyeliner, and I applied some lashes and these are from Bold Face Cosmetics. I don't know the name off the top of my head, but I will definitely leave them in the description box down below. So we are going to move on to face, and the primer that I'm using is my Pixi Flawless Beauty Primer. Um, I'm almost out, and I really just want to use this up so I can buy a new primer. So we are going with this one again today. And for some extra hydration, I'm going to go in with my spray. Let that soak into the skin. And then we're going to move on to foundation, Maybelline Fit Me, so I'm just pouring that on the back of my hand. I am almost out of this. Um, come on. 
to Ulta the other day because I have been on the hunt for the new Maybelline Super Stay, like full coverage foundation. So every time that I go to Ulta, I always look and they never have it. Even when I go to like Walgreens, Walmart, Target, um, they don't have it either. So when I went to Ulta this past, I want to say like maybe two weeks ago, they had it and they had my shade. So in the matte and poreless, I'm in the shade 220, which is, what is this? Natural beige. But like after watching reviews and stuff, people are saying that your shade in the matte and poreless is not the shade in the super stay. And they said to go like maybe a shade or two lighter because it is darker and then some people said that it does oxidize, so I went into Ulta and they had the 220 in the Super Stay, and I'm like, no, I shouldn't get this because people are saying that, you know, it's darker than matte and poreless and then it oxidizes and you're just going to have to return it, blah, blah, blah. But I've been on the hunt for this thing ever since, like, it launched on YouTube or since all, like, the beauty gurus have been reviewing it. So I was like, well... Maybe I'll just make it work. So I bought it in the shade 220. It is too dark. It may be my summer color because I do get very tan in the summer. So I may be able to use it on its own in the summer. Or I was thinking of going back to Ulta and buying like a lighter shade just to mix the two. Um, if I can't find like my, my shade. I have a new concealer for you guys and it is the Ulta Beauty Full Coverage Liquid Concealer and I got the shade Medium Warm and I heard that this was a possible dupe for the sharp, sharp, for the Tarte Shape Tape. Um, I went to Ulta again looking for the Makeup Revolution concealers because everyone's saying that that is the dupe for the Shape Tape um, but I also heard that this Ulta was the dupe as well. Ooh, that's really yellow. Um, I'm just going to do a little triangle underneath the eye. And this does say that it's full coverage. Um, and I, my skin is a bit dry right now, so I don't want to do like too much. Um, I may have to get a lighter color because this is super yellow. Now the color that I got is basically kind of like my skin tone already. So it's not really highlighting anything. It is easy to blend, super creamy. I don't know if it's a dupe for Shape Tape, but it is super nice. Um, but I will have to go over, to highlight my face, I'm going to use my um, Maybelline Fit Me. Because this one is well lighter than that Ulta one. So I'm just using my same sponge. I'm going to flip this mirror. Okay, I'm just going to press that on the under eye. My Maybelline Fit Me with a brush. This one here to set my face and then also to sweep off that bait. to take my Tarte Park Avenue Princess and these earrings are getting in the way I'm going to take an angled brush like this go back into that bronzer and kind of just stamp it on the hollows of my cheeks blush I'm going to take uh, my peach blush from Ofra right here using my Maybelline Master Chrome in Molten Gold going to highlight just love this highlighter Okay, so let's go ahead and finish up the lower lash line. So I'm going to zoom you guys back in and we will get that done. So what I'm going to do is take a fluffy brush here and I'm going to dip into the color Buck and really blow this out on the lower lash line. And then on the outer corner, 
corner, I'm going to take that pencil brush and go in with the color Dark Horse. And just work that on the outer corner and then work our way in. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the color Virgin, which was like my everyday like brow bone highlight, inner corner highlight, like this was the only highlighter that I would use. So I'm going to take it on this angle brush here and apply that to my brow bone and then also the inner corner. Okay, so we are now finished with the eyes. The only thing that we have left to do are lips. Okay, and then for lips, I want to do something nice and nude. So I'm going in with my ColourPop and I Love Sata E Lippy Pencil in the color Curvy, and I'm just going to line my lips. And then for lipstick, I'm going to use my Revlon Soft Nude. Put a little bit of gloss on top, so I'm going to use NYX's Butter Gloss, Butter Gloss? Butter Gloss and Creme Brulee. That completes today's look. So I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in to my very first Throwback Thursday using the Urban Decay Naked Palette. Now I will be doing a Throwback Thursday once a month and I can't wait for you guys to tune in next month and see what I have in store. If you like this video, give it a big old thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed so you can stay tuned to all the videos that I do upload. I will be trying to upload twice a week on Sunday and Thursdays, so stay tuned for more videos. And I hope you guys have an amazing Thursday. Bye!